Answer by J.P. Morgan Chase. I'm Kristen Scholler. Uh, hey, Kristen. I'm Jill Wagner. Cheddar teamed up with J.P. Morgan Chase to bring you Cheddar. Each week, we celebrate representation and inclusion in business with today's leaders and shine a light on women who are making strides in their industries. Brought to you by J.P. Morgan Chase, the bank that advances women everywhere. That's right, Jill. And while J.P. Morgan Chase is the presenting sponsor of this show, the opinions and statements are Cheddar's. And we have a really big show today, Kristen. Coming up on Ched Her, the daughter of social injustice symbol Rodney King, tells us how she is continuing his mission of promoting peace. And plus, how one woman is shining light on diversity in the world of advertising. And later, we're going to tell you how one woman's breaking down systemic barriers and bringing support to communities in need. But first, let's get to some of the headlines that we are following today. Uh, yeah, Jill, so Lean In just releasing its sixth annual Women in the Workplace report, and this one's shining light on the dire situation women are in as a result of COVID-19. The number of women now considering downshifting their careers or even leaving the workforce completely is up to nearly 25%. The Labor Department reporting that 865,000 women dropped out of the workforce in September alone compared to 216,000 men. The report warns this trend could result in backtracking of years of hard-won progress in the workplace. And it points out that mothers continue to bear the bigger burden of housework up to 20 hours more each week Certain challenges that are more likely to push women out of the workforce range from a lack of flexibility and the need to always be on to feeling uncomfortable sharing the challenges that they're facing with coworkers or managers. The report pointing out that although companies are stepping up, many are not addressing the underlying causes of burnout. Uh, Jill, this is a big concern. We know women have been put in a very um, unfortunate position in the wake of this, and I'd love to get your take too as a working mom. Um, well, okay, so I just want to mention that 860,000 women that have been forced to leave the workplace in just the month of September, uh, that is the population of Indianapolis. So that is not a small number uh, when you think about it. Um, so as a working mom, I will tell you, first of all, I have felt like many, many women out there, and I haven't really wanted to complain about it, for lack of a better word. Um, but on a recent podcast, I do a podcast um, for Cheddar every morning. My co-host, Carlo, had asked me just how I'm doing because we were talking about this study from Lean In. And I just said, it is so hard. I'm the most career-focused person, and I, I love having a career. Um, even after I had my daughter, I was still super career-focused. But it is just hard to balance having a job um, that requires a full-time job, right, that requires you eight hours a day, even more, and then being a full-time parent with no help, you know, none of the help that we're so used to having in the way of babysitters or grandparents or in-person schooling and all of these things that we kind of took for granted. Um, it's just really, really difficult and, and not that surprising, I think, that we're seeing so many women feel like they have no choice but to just leave the workforce. It is a really sad story. I think about all the single moms as well, the situation that they're in, having, in some cases, being forced to leave the workforce to care for their kids and struggling to put food on the table. And so um, across the board, I, I sympathize and I, I hope that it does not reverse uh, years of progress that we've made, especially taking women up through the pipeline. Yeah, I mean, and one of the things I said to Carlo is if I'm feeling this way, um, and I'm in a good position, right? I am married. My husband helps take care of my daughter. Um, actually does primarily takes care of her when I'm working, especially you know early mornings. Um, I can't imagine what so many other women must be going through right now. Um, and I am worried about the long-term impact this is going to have in the workplace, especially as women just, you know, getting so much more ahead um, in terms of executive roles and management.